Good morning, everybody. We're here at St. Louis. Got a little bit of PTSD here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, last time I was here, everyone everyone knows, you know, the, the foot peg. Uh... <laughs> the foot peg uh, assassinated me. So, here we are, banter with the boys. Let's go uh, chit chat with them, see how they're feeling, and uh, yeah, let's see what they have to say. Mr. Anderson, can you please come over here? Look at him, like, he literally just looks like he rolled out of bed every time. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How, how are we doing? You? Yeah, doing good. How are you yeah. feeling today? Uh, a little sleepy right now, but I feel all right. Yeah. yeah, this is, so when we used to race outdoors, he would look like this lighting up from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I wasn't here for press, but I actually heard that you framed this triple. Yeah, it was pretty rutted and I got kind of undecided on which rut I was uh, in and uh, yeah, I didn't frame it. I just kind of OJ'd the double uh, part. They spiced it up a bit? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Okay. So He's uh, all business today, huh? Huh? All business. Good morning. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> Don't be hesitant, all right? I know, <laughs> I know you've seen last week's and yeah, you know. I know. All right, but we're going to keep our distance. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to keep it cool. You know what I mean? How are we feeling? Good week? Yeah, really good week. Yeah. How was press? Pretty good. Tracks gnarly um, for a east or a west track, you know? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this west or east or just in the middle? I don't know. I think this run's definitely been east coast before. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyways, um, no, so I was at Seattle, watched you race, and honestly, it was one of the coolest things watching, like, being a homeboy and dominating like that had, had to be pretty cool. Yeah, that was sick for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, I was just like a fan in the stands, and the fans were going insane. So it doesn't happen very often that, like, you dominate in your home yeah. home race, so that was pretty cool. Good luck today, all right? Thanks, man. Good Thanks. luck. So here we have Cole Davies, the new Kiwi up and coming. Let's see the haircut here. What do you call this? Mullet. That's a mullet? That's a mullet. All right, so so you're just kind of fresh to the scene, you know, um, doing the futures. How's it going so far? I mean, it's going good. Uh, went first, second so far, so I'm confident coming to this there weekend. You go. There you go. How do you like living in America? Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest, to be honest. <laughs> what do you miss about home? Uh, the food, to be honest. Yeah. I miss, uh, a, I miss a good just pie. Yes, you know? everyone loves a good pie over there. You being a Kiwi, other Townley brought you up, right? Yeah. As in racing. Um, other than Townley, who's like the Kiwi goat? Yeah, Josh, Cody Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Okay. Dylan, Dylan Walsh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just messing. The next thing I was going to say, we're just asking random questions. What's your uh, pet peeve? I don't know, someone like chewing loud at the table. <laughs> yeah, it was like my dad when I was younger. His jaw would crack every bite. It would annoy me. I got that. All right, mate. Hey, best of luck. Okay, let's have a good Sweet. one tonight. We'll be watching. Thank you. Cheers. All right, so don't chew loud in front of uh, Cole. All right, look at that wall. What? Good lift. You can, you can back up that for sure. Uh, we're going to talk to Garrett here, but they're just mid, uh, mid talk about this rhythm. Wop. Garrett, I need to talk to you for a minute. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Garrett Huffman, everybody. How we, or Garrett Huffman. Oh, are you serious, <laughs> dude? G Hoff, G Hoff in the house. <laughs> Sorry, March Banks. I'm getting old. I'm getting to see now. Sorry. How are we doing today? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah? Dude, yeah. you're looking lean right now. Yeah, Boys? Pretty light. <laughs> yeah. So, a pretty good season so far. Yeah. I feel like. A couple podiums, right? Fourth yeah. last weekend. Yeah, almost out of. What are we in points right now? Fourth. Yeah. yeah, five down from third. From what I hear, you're like quite the outdoorsman. Like you like could live in a tent, right? Yeah. Like you, you, you're like Bear Grylls. Like you hunt your own food and stuff. Yeah, when I'm back home, I, that's all I do. I, I, I'm either living in my camper and, or uh, in a tent most of the time. I, I hardly ever stay That's in the house. interesting. That's <laughs> interesting. All right, no, because uh, Jalik actually tells me all this stuff. Like, you know, Jalik is one person that says he's just, you're one person he will not try and mess with. <laughs> So, I don't know why he's so afraid of you. He's like, dude, he killed deers and shit with his own hands. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely talked to him about that and come out and he's like, I'm not killing a deer. I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. He's like, I can't do it. I'm like, oh, I'm man. Like, nah, you'll be fine. Other so, thing, how, how's the track looking? Uh, it looks good. I mean, 
It was pretty gnarly yesterday, even for press. Like, yeah, it's just been, it's everything's just so rotty these days. Like, yeah, I insane. couldn't believe how gnarly the triple on the finish line base got yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it's like that tomorrow or today, it's gonna be gnarly. Yeah, especially triple crown again. All right, mate, best of luck. Thanks, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, have a good one, Thanks. and we'll be watching. Sounds good. Cheers. So, yeah, I guess he's pretty lethal with the old shotgun, so I ain't, ain't messing with him either. Hard man to find over here. Coop web. We got, we got, <laughs> yeah, happy. <laughs> hey, uh, how's the morning wood today? We feeling it? Uh, yeah, it was there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. Then we're we're still uh, yeah. we're still kicking. It's How was the week? It was good, mate. Yeah, you know, we were just locked in. Locked in? As I say. Fourth quarter, locked in. Just That's what I like to hear. In. That's what I like to hear. How about you? Uh, it was good. Cycled a lot. Nice. Thanks for asking. You know, no one wants to ask me how I'm doing. So, yeah. hey, appreciate that, mate. Always a solid yeah. one. So, just a little bit of bounce, you know what I mean? Just, what, what's something that just annoys you? What's your pet peeve? When people, like, try to interview me on track walk. Other than that. <laughs> Mine is, mine personally is when they stand up right when, uh, right when they get off the plane. That really pisses me off. Yeah, I'm alright with that one. Like, yeah? Oh, no, that one winds me up. I'm a, I'm a road rage guy. So. Oh, <laughs> alright, well, relax <laughs> yeah. on that, because something just came out this last week about that, so. <laughs> we need to ease down. up. I, I am too, though. I, we need to chill. Yeah, we need to chill. Alright, mate, I'm not going to hold you. you. Yeah, I'm not going to hold you back. Mate. Best of luck, alright? Get you that too. high vest gear back on. Yeah, we'll do. Alright. Kill that shoulder up. Alright, well, do. Cheers. Good bloke. Good bloke. Coop's been looking really good this season. I knew he was gonna win that last week because like when he has that little smell of it, of a win, usually he takes it. Parker? Look at this guy. He never does track walk. How are we? When he's actually racing. What do you mean I always do track walk? No, never. Never seen this guy on track walk while he's racing. You gotta save the knees. You know when you get old, when you get old like me, you gotta save these okay. knees. See, so you're like 30. Two. You know last time I was here, I was, I was getting by a foot peg. Oh, last time. So I'm, yeah, I'm a little, that's why like my interviews aren't very good today because I'm a little, yeah, I'm just a little, oh, back in the stadium. <laughs> they didn't pull the red flag for me. I just was laying there bleeding out, you know what I mean? <laughs> bleeding so. <laughs> bleeding out the cheeks. Anyways, how are you feeling? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Um, kind of anxious, ready to get racing. Yeah, you've yeah. been sent around for a little bit. Yeah, we haven't raced since, uh, well, we raced Freestone, but Daytona was last, so I guess maybe Super Oh, okay, cross, yeah, but. true, true. All right, well, hey, dude, I've been watching you, been writing with you during the week, you know, a couple months back. I'm really expecting something yeah, tonight, I'm, all right? Yeah, me too. Man. All right, come on. How, how are we feeling, though? How's yeah, the, we're healing how's up. Another person just asked it how I'm doing. Uh, yeah, we're doing good, healing up. I think we'll try right maybe in a couple weeks. See how yeah. You feel? yeah, come on, hey. So this is Seth, right? No, no, I was hitting you with it. So just give me, me some St. Louis history. Uh, RV, 20, uh, 2010, cleaned out Dunge. Points were tight. Yep. And uh, gnarly clean out, gets in the lead. The intensity was high. Hits that, I raced that night. So it, the sketchiest random section, it was all like- Dude, it was that three was- It was yeah. so sketchy. RV like endos, jumps off the bike, bike like pushes him forward. Broken leg. But you know, when you think of it, that broken leg, it was like almost good for him in a way. Cause yeah. then he locked in, went yeah. to Alden, won four more championships. Yep, also the beginning of, uh, or also the same jump. Tedesco. Yeah. Later that yeah. Event. Mm -hmm. I just think of uh, 96 or the street game. Oh, he's going deep on us. 96. Just the MC. It still hurts a little bit. Yeah, it was 13 and 0 coming in. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, so is this where Ed McBeal? Ed McBeal. Oh. 13 and 1. Then he went on to win the next weekend, so 14 and 1 on the year. Yeah, that one would hurt. 13 yeah. in a row and then losing? Yeah. One race shy. One race shy. <laughs> so, so what was it? 16 of 17? Or well, I don't uh, know what they did back it then. It was 14 of 15. 14 of 15. Back then, yep. Yeah, that would hurt. One. That would hurt. And then same year went on to uh, was dominating outdoors and tried to jump at Millville. And oh yeah, that's right. His ankle. And yeah. Yep, that was it. So should have had a perfect Supercross season and outdoor title, but yeah, day so, late, dollar short. That's right. So Seth here, no, he's deep in the Moto archives. He he should start a website. Anything you need to know about '90s Moto, early 2000s, he's got it. Me and him are pretty good. He may have an edge over me though, but always good banter with Seth. All right, mate. Hey. See you later. Have fun today, bud. Yep. You see, come come chat with the boy. Come on, get up here. I do, I do. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. first off, I, I do this every time. I'm not gonna see you. I do this every time. Sorry, sorry. So the sketches that he wears are just absolutely atrocious. Honestly, those ones aren't that bad. I'll, I'll give you. Those aren't your worst oh, ones. Oh, dude, but they're sick. Rocking this. I have high arches. 
we have our our uh, social media guy right here yeah, too. This is... <laughs> hey, you know, Joe, hit, hit, hey. hit the hit the uh, uh no. hit it, hit it. Come on, one one time, one time. One Come time. on. Yeah. Woo! Jeez. Hey, you know what the worst thing about the Skechers thing is? is right. I I have not received any product. <laughs> Or, just free or, no yeah, li yeah. No, seriously I, I buy these uh, on Amazon so I Skechers if you're watching I've tagged them a million honestly, times honestly the fact that you're even buying those is unbelievable but you gotta hey, own your brand I like it I like it your brand. Um, how's everything going how's your body <sighs> you I mean I feel like <laughs> you're, not, you you're not even in your 30s <laughs> you see, yet you dude. see it in my eyes uh, man. <laughs> that is funny tell me how you're feeling without telling me how you're feeling you yeah know no I mean? I'm, I'm I look like uh, Kobe Bryant on the bench the last year every time I get home I can, ice, I can go play ice backs yeah, on oh, every no. knee I go play pickleball for like an hour and I come home I got ice on both shoulders both knees feet off I'm like out for two hours oh that is funny yeah. I remember I, I think that's funny because I vividly remember Kobe's last year oh yeah he had ice packs on dude everything. yeah oh, it's, uh, that's it's brutal you back no, I'm not back. I'm just here to annoy everybody. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What else is the deal, dude? Are you doing outdoors or are you not? <laughs> hey, we got it. Oh, <laughs> we, hey, is this the Frivolture you guys, boys? You guys, what are we you, doing you here? You guys will find out real soon, all right? Real all right, soon. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, keep our fingers crossed and we're just going to wait. Have a good day, it. all right? I appreciate it. Later. Enjoy the ride. Oh, I will. What about like just the one that little dance for a send off for us, like that, that one? Thank you, thank you. Good man, good man. All right, so here we have Ross at Dirtworks. So uh, we just want to talk about the tracks this year. Mm -hmm. What the f happened, dude? No, I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. I thought I had to open up with a banger. No, but you guys have been up against some serious gnarly conditions with just weather. And now that we do have a roof, we still have rust. Still, yeah, it was actually worse. They had Monster Jam in January. Yeah. And they said this stuff was sloppy oh really yeah so it's actually coming into it we went and checked the pile I'm like it's pretty decent like mm -hmm. you know it came around it was really wet in January here in Missouri right and then it kind of dried up so it helped dry this stuff out it's gonna be ruddy but it's not gonna be indie right right yeah no it's all I mean it's always had some ruts here that yeah. I remember so but it's always pretty good dirt yeah what's been the hardest track all year for you to just what's been the biggest nightmare like Oh, dude. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's got to be San Francisco, right? Like yeah, that one that was, was. I've been around for 12 years, and San Fran was the gnarliest mudder. I've yeah, seen. I think that was my gnarliest mudder as well. That was yeah, just yeah. insane. Yeah, you've probably you've been around. Since, yeah. When did you first come into the 250? 2010. 2010. I've been so, here since 2013. So. Right. Yeah, that one was gnarly. But yeah, you guys have had your hands full. It's the big controversy thing, but the lame. You know, because the mud at San Diego, they threw lame, then, it, you know, that did not go well. Yeah. But, oh, man. <laughs> it might not hurt a little bit, you know? Because yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I know bad weather, but every Supercross race has just been like a rut fest. It's getting, it's it's getting rough. It's gnarly. Yeah. It, it's like last weekend, just double, everybody's doubled yeah, up one in yeah. the middle lane. It's yeah. Like, and even whenever we think it's going to be soft we lay the takeoffs down yeah no and mellow. i think that's so smart and it, it, it's yeah it's helping but yeah you know gosh dang like seattle oh, just double 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 it's insane it's, like the ruts are gnarly and it's so smart that they do now like they got like a mud prep when they expect rain they they just kind of tame it down a little bit because if they don't it's just too extreme so uh well, other we thing make it equal make it fills line that everybody yeah, can do true, double, true. double double all right here we have christina denny ama so uh, the Amy don't really have a lot of fans. Not a lot of people like the Amy. Um, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, it's unfortunate, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, something that we're trying to change. We're trying no. to put a, a better, per you know. Well, you're the rule regulators. You know I mean? you got to lay the foot down, and some yeah. people don't like it. Other thing I was going to say was um, you do pick on one of my friends a lot. Who's that? Jason Anderson. We, you just, hey, I picked, uh, not you necessarily, I, but... Not, you know, not in a long he's time. got a long like, list on there. But it's not in a while. <laughs> his, like his, he's been really kind of silent and doing his own yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hey, you know, I just had to give you a hard time. You know what I mean? Um, well, I think you're doing he, a great job. Well, thanks. Yeah. Are Thank you doing you. outdoors as well? A couple. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I seen you, and I was like, oh, we gotta stop. Give you some give me crap. Some crap. Yeah. Yeah, I get and, it. I can, um, I'll take it. Have a good day. You too. Cheerios. Yeah, all right. Here's Mel Saps here. <clears throat> Mel Saps. What's the mindset today, mate? Mindset. Get over this, here. He's dealing with this idiot today. 
How's that going? You know, it's it's going. He's, li he's, li he's, li he's living in a fantasy world in this rhythm section right now. Yeah, well, I see a lot of people are like really studying this section. I haven't even looked at the track. Why is everyone just because you're not overthinking it? it? Well, you're either gonna go double, but he's thinking you're gonna go single and then seat bounce three, three, three. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't even think you want to three into the back end one, but <laughs> well, you're gonna three off of the nothing. Yeah, you could do that easy. I mean, we would. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. What's the mindset today, huh? It was a long week, man. Did it you was... did you get Juju back in order or what? It was one of those. <laughs> this week was rough. It was more so just stop letting what everyone says to you get to you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, I know exactly how that one is. Yeah. Yep. You know, stop letting it get to you and just push it aside and keep grinding, keep mm -hmm. doing the work, mm -hmm. keep putting the work in, because you know, you know, hands down, everyone knows hands down, he puts the work in during the week. Mm -hmm. But again, when it doesn't show, yeah, it's, it's still a rookie. It's so hard, yeah, I know exactly. still a rookie, has three of the worst races that I've seen in a long time, mm -hmm. as far as mud and, and whatnot. Oh. So he hasn't had a chance to learn. Yeah. You know, he doesn't know if he belongs there because he's never really been in the front of anywhere. Yeah. So right yeah. now, it's literally just push aside what yeah. everyone is saying to you and just keep grinding and grinding yeah. and grinding. Yeah, and it'll pay off. Yeah, it'll sure. pay off in the end. Yep. So this week was, dude, constant. I think it was my brain's fried. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for people that don't know, this is absolutely mental. Davey yeah. lives in Lake Havasu, okay? Four hour drive, he tries to claim it's like two hours, but <laughs> four hour drive, he drives that commute like he's driving from Temecula to San Diego, like it's insane. But um, fair play, I don't really have anything else for you. Yeah. How's the casting? So go up, so go up, turn around, look at these things. That's insane. That's like, there's a brick in there. He, that, hey, those are calf implants for sure, right? <laughs> still weak on the bike though. <laughs> yeah, that is true, still that is on. true. Hey, I hey, do. you know how long he's been saying he's gonna do this triathlon as well? What, dude, I was oh, my back, oh my back, oh my back, boy. Iron Man. That's, that's a triathlon, that is a triathlon. <laughs> I mean, it's still a triathlon. I've been hearing about that. Davey's so Man easy to get worked up. Look. <laughs> I'm not yeah. up. Uh, oh, no, you've told us you're doing this triathlon for like a couple years yes. now. And it just keeps getting pushed is back. It, it's like it, the it. McGregor fight. Like, is it ever happening? <laughs> <laughs> is it ever happening? I mean, are you ever going to get a whole shot? Probably not. <sighs> Maybe, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. No, I, I went to the, I went to the, the uh, resort of trying to just time the gate. At the, at, <laughs> I was just trying to do that sex thing where you just drop it and... Do this, whoa! Still can't get it, but I still may have a few more chances. Yes. Are we doing the triathlon? That's my goal, yes, if I can get my back under control. Because actually this summer you were swimming a lot. Yeah, swimming, uh, running, and cycling. He has a good swimmer, actually, I'll give and, him that. And then my back let loose. When it let go, dude, it was the worst pain of my entire life. It sounds kind of like, an, ex sounds like an excuse, but all good. All good. I don't I don't have no, to race to need an excuse. <laughs> so. All right. All right, here we have uh, Cole Thompson. The one and only. Canada's favorite. Canada's How are we doing today? Ride. We're doing good. Yeah. Yeah, we're in St. Louis. Um, um, hey, I, I think 15, you're supposed to- 15, 20 minutes late, but we're yeah, in St. Louis. Yeah, they called I, your name on roll call. They did? Yes. I'll have to pay that fine. Well, you're gonna have to pay that fine. They're gonna find out after this. Yeah. For sure they're gonna what find What do you mean they're gonna find out? They called you. What'd they say? They called him, huh? They said, uh, Cole Thompson, is he here? Raise your hand. But you'll sponsor me for the fine? No. You can pick that up. No, That's no, no. on your Times tab. are tough. Anyways, hey, tab. just we got a quick question. Yeah, yeah. Heard there's some beef with you and Phil Nicolet. Yeah, big beef. Is um, there? Actually, oh. me and Phil got into it. I cut the line going off the track. Uh huh. And <laughs> Phil wasn't having no? it. No. So if in S Seattle it was muddy getting up the ramp and I cut just in front of him yeah. and, and stopped his momentum, he got stuck. Oh, no. And I said to Phil, I'm like, that's my bad, dude. Yeah. I, that's on me, man. Yeah. Like, I'll take the hate. If you want to punch me, <laughs> just do what you got to do. And uh, we settled it. We squashed it. Squashed you know, there was it. a little bit of argument, but I didn't know what he was mad about till after. And then I, then I got stopped the next one. And I realized what he dealt with, and I was like, oh, Phil, man. my bad, my bad. And we, uh, we're cool now. We're cool now. We okay, did press good. day. All's good. Yeah, All's good. All he right. He was asking how the week was and everything. So I, I don't know anything about it. Hey, I'm just the uh, 2019 was the, the stir real here, the pot stir. 2019 um, Canadian SX was the. So real that's beat. where it all started. So I had, yeah. I, I knew it had to stem from somewhere. You had, know, had to start there. He came, uh, came to. Canada. I'm very territorial. Yeah, uh, and that's where the beef started. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks little, uh, for little your history. time. Yeah. Little, thank little you. Thanks thank for you. your time and uh, good luck tonight. Thank you. Hey guys, here. Get over here. Look at the shorts he's wearing this morning. I like your phone call. I didn't know the number. Why is he? No. Why are you always yelling at someone? No, he's trying to. Hey. Shh, no. Language. Sorry. J dot. 
he calls me off burner numbers and then he like oh he's done yeah he's oh, done that to he's, me jade is a big yeah, pranker over yeah. there can big you get pranker. him you zoom in on him you see jay dungy over here can you see him he's the ugliest one over there you see him yeah look at chase capping though i know big capper um anyways i need to talk to you you're the superstar over no, here I need to talk to Oh, oh, KTM, do you? Yeah, that's why I went over oh, there to okay. file a complaint so I can okay. get Frankie in trouble. How, oh, just for his, his shenanigans. <laughs> it's every weekend, though. How was last weekend, dude? I read why the... You gotta bring I, out saw, I, I know, dude, but I read, I read the post and it was dark. Yeah, like It was dark. I literally... I quit. I gave up. I should have pulled off lap six. And yeah. Like, but you don't quit, though. No, well, that's the thing. I did quit. You, you know? don't. G, how uh, are we G, doing? G could have fixed me last weekend. G. Well, but uh, you usually come to me. Why and, didn't uh, you? It really hurt my feelings, bro. But I need because I only do broken scapulas. <laughs> G, I've got a, I've got a really oh. tough one. This okay. is for Supercross Live. Okay. I know this is Let's gonna say. hurt. Okay. Sugar Sean, clap your guy up. Hey, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> some, some, so, so, the, sh sh hang on. Sugar Sean I just. I have to race, not UFC. All right, so yeah. Sugar Sean just fought Chio, and Chio is like G's guy. Like, that's my for guy. For years, like, that's his guy. That's my guy. So, uh, had to just rub it in a bit. Oh. How are we doing over there in that camp? Is he all right? Hey. What about this greasing he's trying to claim, though, that Sugar's uh, hair was too greasy? I don't, I, I have no comment for that. <laughs> but I do. See, UFC, unlike motocross, or Supercross, there's not a second place or a third place no. or a fourth place. So either the winner or I know. the it's loser. A so game. it's a gnarly it's sport. A, oh, 100%. So, uh, yeah, it just didn't have it for him that night. You know, sometimes yeah, uh, yeah. even the best of the best uh, falter. So Look at me. The world's best and I'm hurt. The world's no, best. <laughs> <laughs> so what else was I going to say? Uh, so G works on a lot of us. He's the man. And it's pretty cool when you go into his office, you will literally like see someone in there that he works on some some high high uh, celebrities in there, so high profile athletes. High profile, I call them. Yep, yeah, celebrities. Yep. You can call them that. Yep, that too. But uh, the funny time was one time Cheeto was in the office. Yep. And I told Cheeto Vera that Dean. No, that was uh, no, that was uh, Luke Rockle. No, Rafael DeSanjos. Oh, that's and right. And that's when he was supposed to fight McGregor. That's right. So DeSanjos was in the office, and we're both getting worked on, and he <laughs> throws me under the bus saying. Uh, that you said that you could take him in one round, that you could last one round with him. Yeah, something like that, or, or some of them. Oh no, you said McGregor's. Uh, he's a big McGregor fan, <laughs> and I was like, oh come on, don't do that to me. <laughs> hey, but you got to be on your toes you even do. in the office. You do. How's the year been, anyways, with injuries? Years you good. Been busy? A lot of a uh, lot of uh, un untold injuries. You know, guys yeah. like to be a little bit more secretive about. That's their actually stuff. a good question. What? Why do people keep it a secret? Like, it's not like football where they're like, hey, let's aim for his left knee well i mean i think what it is is like riders just don't want people to know their business you know right. what i mean it's like when it's a mild injury like when you have a big get off and you crash then obviously right, you can't right. keep that secret yeah. but uh the the little aches and pains hurt hands hurt yeah, fingers yeah. Yeah. hurt ankles hurt achilles whatever it might be mm -hmm. you just don't want other people knowing your weaknesses because uh this game's a lot mental mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so uh you want to make sure that uh, your competition does doesn't think you have any weaknesses whatsoever. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, it's a head right, game, right. right? Yeah. So yeah, like, I mean, I always, I always thought like you could also use it in your favor. Like if you are hurt and you say that you're hurt, but then you just go kick all their asses, then then they're scratching their heads. Like, oh, that wasn't even he wasn't even at his best. Yeah, that that that's true. It could help psychologically, but it can also help. I think in this sport, people uh, don't like to make excuses. They're pretty tough guys, mm -hmm. so nobody wants to go. Oh, I'm not doing good because of my right, knee, right. my uh, you know my knee hurts, or mm -hmm. I have a torn ACL and I'm racing with it anyway. Yeah, so yeah. it could be a double-edged sword. I feel you. I feel you. All right, that's a good question. All right, G, have a great day. Behave yourself. Get your range essentials. All right. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got him. Um, it was a bit early to wind uh, fell up at this time of the morning. You don't know what you're gonna get. Hey, uh, so we were just actually talking to Cole Thompson, and it's like, <laughs> what's the what's the beef about there? Hey, you know he said it stemmed from 2019 in Canada. That's where it all started. Yeah, it might. Uh, I guess I hold grudges. So what's it? 2019 is five years ago. Five yeah. Years ago? Yeah. yeah. So, I, but I, Cole's actually, not a guy that holds grudges at all, honestly. <laughs> we are. Uh, I've come around and I've come to respect Cole. We're actually He okay. said, yeah, he said you guys squashed yeah, it. Yeah, we squashed yeah. it. We were yeah. teammates on World Supercross. I'm like, well, I can't. <laughs> sorry. Freaking. I can't, yeah, freaking. I can't, <laughs> I can't like not hate him and I got to yeah. be around him. So I'm like, yeah. all right, hey, man, listen. And he's okay. Podium would have been nice at uh, San Francisco, though. 
Maybe just invoice him on that Is one. Is this like uh, you got the dagger out and you just want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm trying yeah. to get you fired up. I'm am, trying to see something. I am fired up. I, uh, no, to be fair, you know what's been really good? If you want me like, to throw a little bit of positivity, I feel like your starts have been really good. That's about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> one straightaway is all I got. Wow. Well, yeah. you're putting yourself in a good spot. So that's the, that's the main, that's what I don't got. San, San Fran hurt me, dude. That took the wind that, out of my sails. That would have Even though it was a modern. That was just going to be a podium for I the know, bar. I know. And what was it? Was it two laps to go? Garrett got me on the last lap. Oh, even yeah. worse. Last lap. So it's it's all right. Yeah. We got a couple more, but I, don't, I just don't have it anymore. Kids are fast. They are. I, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Like, you You're can't. Only 30. Have, I'm 32. Are you 32? Yeah. Oh, you I'm 33 are. this year. But December 28th, so at the end it's of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, the pace is just so fast now. Like, or maybe we're just getting old. No, I think it's I think it's getting old is the problem. And, like, to risk that pace, just don't have it. Exactly. I don't. I'm out. All right. Good, man. Let's have a good day. Thanks for bringing up some old wounds, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sparking that fire today. No respect, March Banks. Oh. Uh, I do get no respect. No respect for March Max is looking lean right now. I saw I told him he looks trolltrain.com. Yeah, he looks good. You know? He sorry, looks good. He's a big because he's a big boy. Of uh, Colt Nichols. This is the best looking fella in Supercross. Colt, how we doing mate? We're doing good, mate. How are you? Uh, we're, we're doing good, good. Just having a chit chat with the boys, you know, yeah. see how we're all feeling. How you feeling? Are you a worker bee nowadays? Yeah, I'm a workhorse, Dude, not a bee. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just a blue collared, hard working man trying to feed that. the family. I love that. No, we're doing good, man. We're uh, covering stadium this weekend. Yeah. No that, does it really matter though? Isn't it like still just a rough I mean, it's Indy, you know, yeah. 2.0. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's good, man. I'm excited. It's right. a progress with the bike this week, so we're good excited. man. Good yeah. man. All right, honestly, I just came to say, voted most sexiest supercross racer <laughs> out there. So I just want to let the female viewers. He's he's got a he's got a mess. He's but you know. Yeah, chill, chill. Yeah, chill, 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 chill. I, I'm just yeah, gonna chill. be quiet from there. All right, so we got Lars Lindstrom here, Honda HRC team manager. So people don't know we actually go way back. Yeah. Way back. Uh, <laughs> tell them the story. Our best story, 2014, Daytona. You were filling in for Chad when Chad was hurt. You were so, a 250 yeah, rider. Yeah, so he was my mechanic. Yep, so I was your mechanic. We go to Daytona. Was that the first round? No, that we did Indy the first round, and then okay. that was the second round. All right. Yeah. So second round, we go out for qualifying. We we put it on pole. Yeah. We, we beat. We put the, it on pole. The fastest man on the planet. Yeah. Straight nothing, up, we beat we the fastest on man Wilson. on the planet when he was at his peak still. So. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna hang my hat on that one. Well, not not only that, we go P1. We, we're parked in the, the park for May thing. Your your bike's there. I made the Suzuki Rene, his mechanic. Yeah. I'm like, hey, hold hold the hold my bike for a second. I gotta do something. And he's like, oh, okay. And then I t went back and took a picture. I still have it. And he's <laughs> you like, gotta oh. send me that. You gotta he's send like, me that. Because he couldn't drop it. What's he gonna do? That is you know? so funny. That was cool. But, but then, what about the forks though? Okay, so the forks is a good story. Qualified P1, come back, and the right side fork. We had a couple people working on the bike. And the right side fork wasn't tightened all the way, and it was about this much hitting the handlebar <laughs> at the fork height. It was all the way hitting the handlebar. I tell you, that fork set was working good, though. <laughs> it was working good. I was feeling it that day. And you qualified P1. I'm like, uh, hey, you feel different? You're like, no, man, it was all good. <laughs> I'm like, cool, all right. Yeah, the good old days. That was good. So now you're here at Honda. How do you like being the team manager? Uh, how many years has it been now? Well, I'm not. Can, can I? Yeah, yeah. I got to wrap that story up sorry. by when we, oh, beat, sorry, when we beat the fast man. I like the that. We're the, going back. In the heat race. Remember he was launching that, that the wall. The wall and yep. you were keeping it low Yeah, driving. We won that race. Yeah. yeah. All right. See? Yeah. He's got my back. In the He's main event, we're doing good too. Yeah, main event we're good. A little arm pump. You yeah, know, yeah. the the, the, the parachute and arm pump, they're second. R V was leading. Was he? Yeah, so I was second the whole I, time. In five my, last in my five mind, minutes. You're we had that uh morning the morning wood, I guess they say these days on the arms. <laughs> um so how's the, the like what you're doing now? How, how are you enjoying it? Yeah, no good. We got a really cool team. Yeah, um, you guys young, have a sweet team. Yeah, sweet team, young young guys, yeah. young team. Spunky um, team. Yeah, yeah, just kinda like you know, you build the team the way that you think that it needs to be built. Yeah. With the, the the personalities and all the things. It's tough. I think it's cool kind of the way you've let the writers like you said with the personalities. I think that's cool that you've for factory Honda you've Gave them a lot of leeway to like, as far as number fun and yeah, yeah. Things, just little things like that. I think that's pretty cool. So being like in your position, what what does your job entail? Because I actually don't really even know. Yeah, that, we were just talking about that last week with someone. I think each team, team manager, they're so different. Like there, mm. there's not one team that the team manager does the exact same thing yeah, as the other team manager. Yeah, it's not like manager. a blueprint. Right, yeah. right, right. So for, for me, 
uh, I kind of have to have my hands on everything, right? Like, you know, whether it's the truck, we're ordering a new trailer, I'm totally involved in that. Um, and then uh, payments, you know, riders like you when they send in their, yeah, their, invoices. their invoices and things like that. I mean, going through that, make sure that's all dialed in. Um, and then also with the bike, you know, and dealing with Japan, HRC and all those kind of stuff. Yeah. Like it's, it's a yeah. broad yeah. spectrum of things that don't I Don't forget I do. about riding tips. Don't sleep on Lars. He's got some riding skills as well. So Jet's actually doing what he's doing. Hey, that wall jump blocks. last week. Yeah, I, I gave him the hot line on that oh, one did right you? before the main. Then he busted it there out. you go. There I, you go. I, I'm going to take some of the credit. Yeah, but, you know. that was a sneaky line. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Lucky I wasn't out there. I would have done it first, though. For, but, sure, yeah. for sure. All right. Well, have a good day. You too. Good talking to you. Hey, you too. Cheers. All right, everyone. That's us uh, wrapped up here. Not going to lie. Not my best work today. Not my best work. Uh, you know, some days you got it, some days you don't. I think it's just the, the energy and the PTSD I got from the stadium being carted out with two buttholes rough day 2022 that was but we recovered we're back to one thank you all for watching and cheerios